Hello! Hello! Welcome back guys. Um, today I have found a cave. Uh, this is my mine that I made with the video that I made and it didn't work. Ooh, creepy. Um, so yeah, I'm at level 10, which I explained in the other video. Um, and I'm going to go down here and go into this massive cave that I found. So I've come as prepared as I think I should be. These, this is a really good way of mining, by the way. Strip mining, I've never done it before. Um, but you get so much out of it. I, normally I just dig in random places and hope for the best. But this seems to be working a lot, lot, lot better. So, it's all good. It's all good in the hood, baby. It's all good, baby. Here we go, baby. Come on, let's go, baby. It's good in the hood. But this is the, um... This is the cave. Oh, already lots of tasty things. I'll try not to spend too much time mining in this video because it can get boring and I get bored of it. So, yes, I think I just want to see, I just want to light this place up, I think. And then I'll come back uh, off camera after I've done this, obviously. Um, but yeah, I'd love to have some feedback on the content that I'm doing at the moment. Um, because I think I think I'm gonna have to start doing something a little more interesting because I don't think my videos like a very technical. Um, I mean, I finished the treehouse now. Well, I haven't finished it. There's still stuff I want to do to it, um, and I'm gonna start on the house. So hopefully that will be pretty awesome. But I'd love for some input on that about what you guys think I should do with it. Um, if you've got anything, or I'm thinking about putting a world download up. Um, and then if you guys find anything or you know anything of the such or if you change something then just send it back to me um, and I will sort the tings sort the tings but yeah I had like an hour an hour's break in between my lectures so I thought I'd crack open another video um, I'm actually really far ahead so when you see this I'll probably film this ages ago because I just can't stop filming it so so much fun um, filming all of this um, doing it um, I'm not really looking I'm not doing it for fame or not that I'd get fame but you know what I mean I'm not doing it to get loads of subscribers even though it'd be great to have loads of subscribers um, but it's just something really fun to do and there's so much coal around here Ooh. Oh. Oh man, here it starts. Come on then. There we go. Easy. Oh, there is a spider around here. Oh, and a creeper. Come on, the creeps. Oh, I'm dealing with these kids. We got dealt with. Oh, see, this is where I get lost because I don't pay attention. Right, so it's back up here. So we'll put two there. Oh, this cave is huge. Oh, so many. Definitely come back down here and get all that. Oh, hello. I might get the redstone while I'm here because Oh wow. This place is awesome. I never really use redstone. Never really bothered with it. Just seems I don't know, it it seems quite complicated. I need to watch more videos on how to actually do things with it. Um but what I really want to do uh, soon is start a multiplayer server and do some videos on that because I think it's more interesting when there's more than one of you and down here is rubbish doing the mining doing the mining do you know what I mean good up here light up the cave as if you've had Oh this cave's awesome. I love I love the cave systems oh, I don't wanna fall down. There we go. Some of that. 
Because the more I light up of this, the less mobs that will spawn. So, seems like the logical thing to do at the moment. Hopefully, we'll find a mine. I love, I love, love, love finding uh, mine shafts. As in, like, the ones where you think someone's been there before. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to light all that up. But we'll do that afterwards because... Oh, shush, zombie. I love zombies, by the way. I'm a massive fan of zombies. Any zombie films. Um, funny thing, actually, this Christmas, um, B actually made me a book. She wrote me a zombie book because she wants to be a creative writer. And it was sick. Never had anyone write me a book before, and that was pretty darn awesome. Not going to lie. There's like these things called like screechers, which are like zombies. Well, they are zombies. But yeah, that was awesome. She got it published, and I've got the only copy. But I wanted to go to like get it done properly. Oh, creeper. Because. Oh, sword. Yeah, I wanted, I wanted to go and get it published because you've got to start somewhere. Oh, he was obviously really weak. Oh, hello, Bluey. We really want to do like a blue floor in the house, like a blue carpet, so this is all very helpful. And I'm going to have to get some of this iron because I am running very low. But I really oh, I just want to find some diamond. The quest for diamond this cave should be because I just can't find any anywhere. Not that I've looked, to be honest. Oh, we did something in class as well. When we were in class uh, today, um, we did this thing where we just had to stand still to music. And at first I was like, oh, what is this? What is this? Because this doesn't sound fun. We're just standing still. But it's... Oh, creeper. It's crazy how weird it is just to see someone standing completely still. Ooh, hello, redstone. But I'll leave you for now. Okay. Because I don't want to spend too much time mining. Oh, I'm never going to find my way out either. What's over here? Oh my gosh, this place goes on! Oh, creepy. Creepy, creepy, creepy. See, I, I now have absolutely no idea where I am. I'm just chucking torches down. For the hell of it. But this should reduce mobs. And hopefully I'll find a mob spawn and then... I can have some help to making an XP farm. And then uh, that will be helpful. Very helpful. Because they don't seem too hard to make. They do seem hard to make, I'm not going to lie. Definitely not my cup of cocoa. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to do. Um, I, I'm, I really want to do, I think I'll do it in the next video now because I've already started. Um, I'm going to do some like uh, beatboxy stuff if you guys would be interested. Um, as well, on that topic, because we were talking about it, we did, I did a video with a, on Erosium's channel. I've been talking about a lot. We're definitely not gay or anything. Just putting that one out there. Um, yeah, I was doing some beatboxing on there and I just want to know if you guys would be interested in me doing some videos on that because I would definitely be interested but I don't want to sit here and look like a fool if people aren't that bothered about it like I think it's really cool because like it means you can make you can make music wherever you are out of nothing and like oh, there's so many different styles because you oh, hello you kind of make your own style um like you have like kind of the old school kind of beatboxes and you have like the new school which is like the dubstep 
and all that Shazam. Um, so, yeah, just let me know what you think about that, because I would be more than happy to do some stuff. Again, I'm not amazing, um, but it's something that I like. Something that, you know, I'm I'm kind of one of those people that, like, if I've got nothing to do, I like to, I I treat my my life as like you have to level up. So like just just the quest to level up is probably the best way to put that. So I'm always wanting to level up. And like yeah, oh gold, lovely. Don't even know why I want it. I, I always say I want gold. I I never use it. I just you know makes me feel like more of a beta. Oh so much gold. But yet no diamond. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? Yeah, like if I'm not doing anything, I'll pick up my guitar and learn a new song, or I'll learn a new beat with my beatboxing, or you know what I mean? Like, I I don't like just doing nothing or sitting there. You know, just even if it's like it can be anything, literally anything. I just I need to feel like I'm doing something, which is why I think the gym's good. But I would say the gym promotes a healthy lifestyle. I'm not saying that everyone has to go to the gym or you have to have the perfect body or whatever, because I definitely don't have the perfect body. But I think it really helps to like keep you motivated and keep you like working towards a goal, because let's be honest, everyone wants a perfect body. Everyone wants, deep down, even if they say they don't care, they probably care about what they look like. So like, I really think it like it fills time and to be honest it makes me feel like I've done something good in the day if I've been to the gym. If I haven't been I feel kinda of crappy. Oh am I back at the start? Oh okay. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, what do you, what do you guys think about kind of Jimmy stuff? Because I know I've got friends like when Ollie first started with me, he he was quite intimidated by people at the gym. Um no no offence to him or anything, I'm just saying like he just didn't I don't know, there's a lot of massive guys at the gym, but to be honest, it's only the little weedy guys that aren't actually lifting a lot, that are trying to prove something, that are the ones that actually aren't very nice. I mean, there's so many, like, really supportive guys, because it's all their passion, like, it takes a lot of hard work to get to where a lot of these guys get to. So, you know, most of them, like, if you're doing something wrong, they'll come up to you and be like, oh do do it this way or you're going to kill your back you have to look after your back in the gym because if you keep doing stuff wrong you won't have one left at all you just muck that up um, yeah I also do a lot of boxing too but like it's kind of weird I haven't been for a few weeks because I just didn't have the money and I went home but I, I like being hit in the face like my first session the coach right who works there he's oh my gosh he's crazy He's like been boxing for like 25 years and skinhead covered in tattoos and he was like, Ashley, come in the ring with me. And the only person that was before me was this guy, this Chinese guy, right, called Alan. They call him Alan because he doesn't tell anyone his real name. He's, You know, it's like when you, I don't know, you have an African guy who comes into your country and he comes into your class and it's like, oh, hi man, what's your name? He's like, oh, um, my name is Graham. And it's like, it's not Graham, is it? It's some some next name, nothing against the next name, I'm just saying, um, but yeah, he was so all like, oh yeah, yeah, nice, lovely, lovely, and then he was like, Ashley, come in the ring, bearing in mind this is like my fourth session, and he's like, Ashley, let's go, and I get into the ring, I'm like, yeah, this will be fun, like, get get it, get this out of the way, because I hadn't actually had a proper swingy fight yet, I was just on the bags, and he just punches one square on my nose, and I was like, ow! And we had three rounds of it, and I gave, I, you know, I did my best. I swung at him and swung at him, but he was just standing there going, "Go on, hit me, hit me, hit me!" And I was just trying to hit him, and then he just hit me a million times harder. And oh man, my face hurt. Tried to eat some Doritos afterwards. Wasn't the one. But like, it's kind of therapeutic for me, Jim as well. It gets a lot out of my system, a lot out of my system. If I've, if I'm a little bit stressed or I've had, oh. Where are these guys? Yeah, if I'm a little bit stressed, um, I don't really like taking it out on people. I, I used to take it out on people a lot, I think, and like now I just I try and hone it in a little, and not 
you know, just most of the time it's not the other person's fault. It's just they might say something slightly wrong and it triggers you off. And um, yeah, I don't want to be. I don't don't want to be like that. It's not a very nice way to be. So yeah, Jim helps me keep control of that. I'm not saying. I mean, I'm not. I hate confrontation. I'm not a confrontational person. Like you'd think it for someone who does. I don't know. I wouldn't say a lot of fighters are confrontational people because it's it's a really technical sport. Kind of all the Muay Thai boxing. Um, like even on a Sunday, uh, a few times. Um, I can't now. I'm at uni. We used to meet up on a Sunday and just kind of beat the crap out of each other down at the park with our gloves on, because it kind of helps. And to be honest, if you can't do it with your mates, how are you going to do it when someone starts on you? Because people aren't very nice nowadays. And I, I really I hate going out. I don't really go out a lot because I always seem to get the trouble. Or it seems like that. I'm probably just being paranoid. But I always seem to be the one who gets the person coming up to him going, Oh, look at you. you oh, I don't know if it's got big hair or I'm quite tall or something. I don't know. People see it as, Oh, look. He looks like someone we should start a fight with. Um, Like, oh, man. Just all the time and... Yeah, I just I just rather avoid it. But if something does happen, it's always nice to be like, well, I can, you know, I, I can handle myself to some degree. And there's definitely some spiders or something around here. I'm not sure where. I'm guessing it's up there. So let's go up. This could be very very dangerous. But for you guys, anything. Oh, definitely dangerous. Whoa. Definitely dangerous. Hmm. Oh well, we'll go up anyway. Oh, you bugger! Go on. Have some meat. And let's check upstairs. Let's go! Wish you could do that in real life. It'd be so much easier. Not that I could carry massive blocks around me anyway, but still. Oh man, these caves are huge. More gold. Gold! I'm not a big jewellery wearer, talking about gold actually. I know some people are, I think as a boy. I don't know, I just, I don't see... Unless it's a wedding ring. I don't really see the attraction. Like, I like... I don't mind, like, the odd bracelet. Like, I have a rope bracelet that I never take off. And... It's like, I don't, I don't like boys... I, well, no. I don't like, personally, wearing... Um earrings like little gold studs or diamonds or whatever it's just not I don't know it's not really me but again nothing against them I just don't like them myself which is why I stretched my ear but it's not very big it's not like ah look at his ear looks like a saggy bum hole anus ear yep oh man anus ears oh my gosh when you have the people who stretch their ear and then they decide that they don't want it anymore oh there was a girl who was uh, in my school and uh, she decided to stretch her ear because it was the cool thing to do, it was in trend everyone was like yeah stretch my ear, stretch my ear so this girl did it and she went up to I think like a 12 millimeter, and then she took it out because she was like oh man it's not that cool anymore really is it so she took it out and it was she only had little earlobes and I have massive earlobes, I get them from my granddad bloody huge things um, but she took it out and then uh, her ear just oh yes finally her ear just looked like a uh, cat's bum hole don't know if you've seen a cat's bum hole but you kinda get the idea if you like a pout and it was horrific and I'm so glad I found some diamond Ah, oh, so much diamond. 
Very happy. Very, very happy now. Okay, let's try and find our way out because I do not want to risk this. I have no idea where I am. So at the moment, it's going exactly the same as it usually does where I get lost and I die. But we have food, so we will see. I think, yeah, I came down here. Out. Follow the torches. Right. Oh man, I'm not going to have any idea where I, where I'm guessing. No, I don't think it is. See, I could guess all day, but it's not going to get me anywhere. Oh man, dead end. <sighs> you get the diamond and then this happens. So what we'll do is we'll bugger off up here. Go away. Oh, not down there. Oh my gosh, no! No, we just came down here. Oh, trying to look at him. Oh no. Is it up here? I don't even. I think. I, have I been down here? Have I been down here? No. Well, I must have been down here. Oh, I'm so lost. I'm a lost toy! <sighs> toy Story. Oh, man. I'm, I am just came here. I'm such a massive fan of Toy Story. Like, huge. Like, I'm obsessed with the thing. Ah! Like, in my uni room, I have a Toy Story throw. Um, like a blanket and a Toy Story duvet and I have a limited edition Woody and I have all the films and oh man just Toy Story never gets old for me it really doesn't I absolutely love Toy Story <gasps> this is it isn't it how do you get down here silly why can I hear an Enderman <gasps> I didn't kill him did I I just ran away Oh well. Yeah, Toy Story has to be my favourite, favourite Disney film. Absolutely obsessed with it. And Pokemon, I love Pokemon. My mum bought me a Pokemon towel and uh, one of the Pokemon movies that's come out recently for Christmas. And I do act quite mature, but then saying that I am sitting here playing Minecraft on my Toy Story bed uh, with a Toy Story towel hanging in my bathroom. Um... So not the most immature, but you know, I just like games, so well I'm sure you all can agree with that considering you're watching my videos. Um but yes, four diamond. That is a great find. I'm impressed with that. Nice bit of iron as well. So, um yeah. I think soon we're definitely gonna start on the house, so that should be good to watch. Um hopefully we'll make something good of that. But thanks for watching again and I'll see you soon. Oh peace!